Right here are the washers off of the rear shocks on the 70CT70H. This is the blue-green one I'm working on right now. And we're going to replate these with zinc. Um, I did not put these through the sandblaster. I, I wire brushed them. Uh, you can do either way. Uh, I, I normally actually blast stuff, but I just forgot to do these, and it's a lot quicker for me to wire brush in them and to fire up the blasting stuff. This is pretty strictly just lacquer thinner. And uh, you want to make sure when you're doing carburetor cleaner, uh, whatever brand you pick, look at the material data sheet and make sure there's no oil or lubricants in it. There are some out there, like gum out, that have lubricants in it. Don't want that. So I'll clean it with, with that. You can clean it with just straight up lacquer thinner, uh, brake clean. So uh, with that, we'll come over here and look at this. My solution here in, the, in this is strict, strictly 100% white cooking vinegar. I buy it by the gallon. It's like three fifty a gallon. Uh, I can fill this up. It gets some evaporation, and I add to it, but it's not much. Uh, my uh, zinc here is 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 roofing material right there. You can buy this for less than thirty bucks, either Home Depot, Lowe's. Uh, you can get it off Amazon. It, it's it's pretty easy to obtain. So that's what we use. I use for my zinc. Of course, I got my just little piece of copper across here that I drilled holes in, and I will uh, hook a piece of copper around whatever I'm gonna gonna plate and drop it down into my solution. So then my negative goes to my piece that I wanna wanna plate, and the positive goes to my zinc. I run two pieces of zinc, one on each side, just so that I get a kind of more even uh, disbursement of the zinc throughout the tank there. And as you can see, I got bubblers here. Goes down to just an aquarium pump, and that keeps everything just stirring in there. So with that, that is that is it. That's all you need to do. Now I got my power supply over here. And uh, it's, it's fully adjustable. This is a 10 amp power supply. And I, I run pretty much, depending on what I'm doing, but generically 2.5 amps, uh, around 22 volts. And I, it takes me about 10 minutes to plate. So, you know, if I had something bigger like a carburetor body, I may have to uh, push my amperage up just uh, by an amp or so. Uh, you could run lower amperage than that, just take longer to plate it. You run too much amperage, it starts uh, kind of like crystallizing on your parts. So that's where I'm at with that. I'm going to uh, get these uh, washers ready to hang in there, or I will hang them in there, and then I'll fire this up and show you, show you it working. Okay, you can see that I've got the washers in my solution, and they are all individually on the copper wire and try to make sure that the, the washers are only touching on the inside on one spot that way they get fully coated with zinc so now i'm ready to turn on my power supply which i will do again i say approximately two and a half amps 22 volts is where i'm at and you'll see as soon as i turn it on see the bubble starting to come off of the washers and that means that they are now being uh, coated with zinc. It's pulling it from my, my zinc here, across the solution, and attaching it to the washers. I'm going to turn on my air bubbler here to just get everything, keep everything moving in there. There. And that is it. We'll come back in 10 minutes and uh, pull the parts out. All right, it's been about 11 minutes uh, they've been in here. So now I turned everything off and I can pull everything out and bring it down right here. You can see how I had that set up that the, the uh, washers weren't touching each other or the wire anywhere so that they had a nice even, even plating. And there's that one. So with that, I'll, uh, I'll I'm going to dry these off. I'll let them sit. Uh, 
for about an hour, and then I'll use Here are the washers that got done. Now, they didn't just, you know, come out of there looking like this. I, I did uh, put them on the buffing wheel and buff them out real quick. Some other pieces that I, I did uh, here just to show you. Now, I wanted to cover this real quick. These are the motor mount bolts here. And see so, you now, I normally leave my shank on the bolt raw zinc i don't polish it i don't know if it matters i'm always i think well if i leave that on it's just a little bit more protection on that bolt and that's the part that that uh, that tends to get uh, some rust on it over time are these so you can see i just leave that um, i i t run a, a die down on the threads and chase those and keep them clean and then the head of the bolt is right there that's it man that is it i can uh, you know a lot of times people might ask why would you waste all your time on washers that are so cheap certain vehicles this is one of them 400 miles on this bike sat inside in a garage unfortunately the garage had uh windows in it and it's evidently sat in the same spot for uh, many decades and the sun just faded everything out but because it's got 400 miles on it because it's a, a ct70h and because it's a blue green ct70h with 400 miles on it i'm trying to keep as much of everything exactly the same as it came from the factory and that would be these and you can see that they have little grooves where they've been tightened down which is fine that was that was done from the factory uh, i'm going to do the same thing with these I'll, I'll put them in the same direction as they came off and it'll be identical to when it was when it's brand new i'm just adding that little bit of protection on there this bike ends up somewhere where it's really high humidity and you don't do this especially like on these bolts um rust is going to start seeping out from around washers and nuts and whatever it is you zinc plate it it's well protected it's going to last for decades without any problems so with that i just want to show you uh, how i do this um i think i'll um I, i'm going to do the battery box in this and i will um take you through those steps as well so we can do it one more time if you've got any questions, just ask them in the comments.